Yo what's up again, today we're doing something like this and I hope you all had some great holidays and a beautiful start into the new year. What I'm going to show you today is pretty amazing because particle simulations with self collisions were not possible to do in Blender before, but I found this add-on that's called Molecular Plus add-on, which is a free add-on that is completely OP in my eyes because it makes particle simulations so much more powerful. You can make self-colliding particle simulations, you can make some particle systems that collide with other particle systems, you can add some linking to your particles so they come out as some clumps, you can simulate some relinking when they collide with other particles or other particle systems so there are so much options to play around with and let's get started so download the add-on and if you want you can donate something to the creator of the add-on so as you can see this is my original scene here um, I got two particle systems one that is just um, a 3d grid which is just falling down onto the stone and one is the emitter from above that is kind of emitting a flow of particles onto the stone and onto the other particle system. The stone is a mega scan asset and I put a wood and made a little composition with it and added some lighting here. But for tutorial purposes I will head over to a new project and show, show it to you how you can create it right from the start. So first of all create a plane and then just build a scene how you like it. Add some stones, add some wood like I did or something completely different. The next step that I did was I created a sphere which is the 3D grid particle system. So open your sidebar with N and then click on the molecular plus add-on button. And after that you select your sphere and make sure you click on the 3D grid option. Then select the objects that you want your particle system to collide with and add them as a collider. And don't forget the ground plane because I did in this case. After that we need a cylinder as an emitting object that is emitting the flow of particles from above. Select it and press the emitter button. After that you can play around with the intersection settings here. In my case I just activated the collision with other particle systems and the self collision. Make sure to add those settings to both of your particle systems and then you can hit the simulate button and as you can see this looks a little bit weird because our time frame is going out of map but don't worry everything is fine of course we have to do some adjustments here and find our right settings your next step is to add some particle objects that you want your particles to look like in my case i added the stone with the stone generator and put on a decimate modifier on it because the mesh was way too dense. After that go into the render tab of a particle system settings and turn off the show emitter option, render as object. Then select your stone or you can also do render as collection and add a collection of stones, variation of different stones it may look better. I also did this in my other project and make sure to check rotation and turn up the randomize option all the way up. Do the exact same on the other particle system and as you can see here this will look a lot better now. But we have to fix the emission from above so select your particle system and under velocity set everything to zero except for the set value which you should set to a negative value like negative two. After that you have to decrease your voxel size and you can also randomize it but be careful here with the voxel size because you could crash blender in this case if you go too low. So it's like the lower the number the denser the mesh is in the end and the smaller the particles are of course. You can also select your other particle system and check the hex option and randomize it and of course decrease your voxel size to make everything look more organic and stuff. And if you make some changes on your particle system make sure to always hit the little refresh button in the right top corner here before you hit the simulate button so your particle system is updated and is not glitchy or something. So when I finish the bake I always like to increase the size of my particle object just to make everything look a little bit more dense and fill up the holes a little bit. And as you can see I think this looks pretty amazing. You can do a lot with this. I didn't even touch any settings um, in this scene right here. In the original scene that you saw I used these settings. I will take a screenshot and show it to you here. So just copy them if you want to. So I think that was everything I have to say. Be creative with this scene. You can do so much more than I did, you, than I did here. I just wanted to show you this molecular plus add-on which is amazing. So never stop blending, never stop being creative and see you soon guys. Bye.